Hey, Vikings fans, what's up? It's Wabi. It's voice of the Vikings, Paul Allen. And behind us, it's mandatory minicamp for the Minnesota Vikings. And that will mark the conclusion of the offseason program with the 2019 season right around the corner. We are here to talk about that. PA, you've been out here for a few practices. Your thoughts on the squad as we get ready for 2019. Well, you know, I, I really like the way the offense is coming together, and I like their emphasis on trying to establish the play action, uh, which is going to be a major, major emphasis point for the 2019 Minnesota Vikings. So much so that Everson Griffin is performing as well as I've seen him perform in quite some time. Daniil Hunter is high end. Hercules Mata'afa has splashed a little bit. Um, and it's impacted the play action in that they're trying to do something, and, and like Everson is back in the backfield and they can't get it done. So they keep working at it and working at it. And, you know, with Stefanski and Kubiak hearing about the flow of the offense and the flow of the offensive linemen and stuff like that, and then being able to see it and then watch it back, it's uh, it's a thing of beauty. And I can't wait to uh, call the games. Yeah, and everyone wants to know offensive line. That was the talk in the draft. That is the talk now. And it's hard to really, truly evaluate it, don't you think, now? Well, we need training camp to do that. Yeah, I mean, for, for that, I get with the people who know more about it than me. Uh, Brad Berry's fantastic. And when they put pads on, look out. And and I mean everybody look out. Now, we're talking about Linval Joseph and Shamar Stephan. That's a really good defensive tackle tandem. And behind them is Eric Kendricks, one of the better middle linebackers in the NFL. I'm telling you right now, look out. Uh, he's fast. He's mean. Uh, he's smart. And he does not like to make mistakes. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm so happy Garrett Bradbury's on this team. That's about the only way I can put it. And it's pretty cool that the selection of Bradbury in the first round improved us in two spots because Elfline is at guard. Okay. Both of those guys played guard and center in college. So we're going to be in good shape at left guard. We're going to be in good shape at center. So that's key. Now we got to stay healthy up there. And if we can do that, I think we might be onto something. Defensive line. You talked about them earlier not only top end talent there with the defensive line but probably some pretty good depth pieces yeah i totally agree and steven weatherly the way he took off last year very curious to see in a contract year uh what steven can do this year and that that's intriguing you know i think steven makes seven hundred twenty thousand dollars he's gonna make a lot more uh, when they start in 2020 hopefully it's here uh daniel hunter is elite everson griffin has, has again everson griffin right now it looks better than I've seen him look at this time of the year in quite some time. Now you get to the defensive tackle uh, depth. Uh, you know, there there are a couple of names that just don't get mentioned much, like Jalen Holmes battling with Hercules Mataafa for the backup three technique to Shamar Stefan and Ifadi Odenibo has been really, really good. I'm curious to see what they're going to do with him. So it's a it's a Vikings defensive line led by Andre Patterson, the best in the business that not surprisingly is deep, fast, tough, and it's going to be really good. You also have Armin Watts, a draft pick who we didn't even mention, who's going to be there in training camp, probably impressing people. It'll be interesting to see where he's incorporated and how he looks. Lots of other things to talk about with this Vikings team. We'll do most of that during training camp. So we hope you stay tuned to Vikings.com for coverage of 2019 training camp. In the meantime, you can listen to FM 100.3 The Fan, 9 to noon, where Paul will still talk Vikings, even in the dog days of summer, right? Twins are red hot, but um, Vikings always get run 9 to noon. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the last couple of days of Vikings Mandatory Minicamp, and stay tuned to Vikings.com for more.